Hi, this is Maddie Harper bringing you the May 2021 Multifamily Market Insight Report. Nationally, rents increased by 2.5% in May on a year-over-year -year basis, which is almost exactly where rent growth was in March 2020 when the pandemic began spreading in the U.S. Many metros have recovered and even surpassed pre-pandemic rent growth numbers. On a dollar amount basis, rents grew $12 in May to $1,428 which is the largest one month increase in our data sets history. Jobless claims fell to 406,000 in the week ending May 22nd. As the economy continues to recover, many employers are beginning to have difficulty finding workers, especially for low wage positions. The unemployment rate fell to 5.8% from 6.1%, the lowest level since the pandemic hit. Occupancy remained unchanged from a year ago at 94.8%, continuing the national trend we have seen over the last year of stable occupancy on the national level. Our top five markets for rent growth remained unchanged from April. The Inland Empire and Sacramento continued to top the charts with extremely strong rent growth. Inland Empire reached double digit rent growth on a year over year basis in May for the first time in the Metro's history. These metros are still underpriced compared to other California markets, but with double digit year over year rent increases, the gap in cost of living is starting to narrow. Of our top 30 markets this month, 22 had positive year over year rent growth. This month, we are introducing an exclusive new subclass to the multifamily monthly report. Yardi Matrix now includes single family rental units exclusively in built to rent communities. We cover more than 90,000 units nationwide in 700 communities. Single family rentals have been around for a long time, but attracted large institutional investment after the Great Recession. The pandemic has fueled even more demand and new institutional investors are pursuing the sector every day. The current constraints to purchase a home coupled with demand for more space is fueling strong rent and occupancy growth across metros. In the last year, single family rental build to rent communities overall rents have increased by $120 to $1,761, which is slightly more expensive than the overall multifamily rents, but the single family rental units typically have lower larger floor plans, two or three bedrooms are more common than studio or one bedroom units. Nationally, rents for single family rentals increased by 7.3% in May on a year over year basis. Overall rents increased by $14 in May. The top markets for single family rent growth are the Inland Empire at 18.3%, Phoenix at 15.3% and Denver at 13.5%. Out of the top 30 markets that we featured in this report, 27 had positive year over year rent growth. The metros with the largest concentration of single family rentals in our data set are the Inland Empire, Phoenix and Detroit. Nationally, single family rental occupancy is up 1.5% from a year ago. The top markets for change in occupancy are Indianapolis at 8.9%, Tampa at 4.7%, and Toledo at 3.6%. Out of the top 30 metros, 23 have seen an increase in occupancy in the last year. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. If you are interested in learning more about our new single family rental build to rent data, please get in touch. Thank you.